What is a proof? A mathematical proof is a reason why a pattern exists, and developing mathematical proofs is a creative art. If you've been in school for a while, you might think of mathematics as calculation or computing, as in 1 plus 3 equals 4, plus 5 equals 9, plus 7 equals 16, but I'm bored already. You get the picture. If you add 9, you get 25, at 11, you get 36, and so on and so forth forever. I'm not sure why anyone would spend their time adding numbers together this way, especially when you can get a computer to do it about a million times faster. If you're working as a computer today, you'll be replaced by a computer tomorrow, because computers never make mistakes and don't talk back. Mathematics is really about discovering patterns, about finding meaning in apparent chaos, about finding out why. So let's do some math. Do you notice anything odd about this pattern? 1 plus 3 equals 4, and so does 2 times 2. 1 plus 3 plus 5 equals 9, and so does 3 times 3. The pattern seems to continue. It's not obvious to me why adding together odd numbers should have the same result as multiplying consecutive numbers by themselves. What could odd numbers possibly have to do with perfect squares? Maybe it's just a coincidence. Where's my computer? A computer could confirm in a matter of seconds that the first million digits follow this pattern, but a computer could never tell you whether this pattern will continue forever, and it certainly can't tell you why. That's where you come in. Calculating is cheap and easy, but ultimately unsatisfying. But the conscious understanding of abstract mathematical truth, something that makes you uniquely and utterly human, that is priceless. Forget about calculating. Why does this pattern exist? The right answer is the answer that satisfies you. To find out why, don't just sit there. Try things out. Scramble the numbers and add them or subtract them in different ways. Use scissors and colors and pictures and anything else you can think of. The more ways you approach the problem, poke at it from all sides, the better you'll understand it. Over time, you'll develop an intuition for what's helpful and what's not. Mathematicians spend most of their time stuck, not knowing how to solve the problems they're working on and most of the things they try don't work out. You'll spend your time as a mathematician stuck too, and most of the things you'll try won't work. You're on your own. Remember, you're a whole lot smarter than a computer. I hope creativity strikes. I'm Stuart Jekyll. Thanks for watching.